Fernando, are you tired? <laughs> this is going to be a long day. <laughs> For us to walk down here, look at that, right? All the way down to the bottom and all the way back up. For me to do the walk, I've got to pay someone 70 solids. <laughs> Crazy is that? Oh my God, 14 quid. I've got to pay them 14 quid for me to walk down here and walk my ass back up. All right, we've just started our descent into the canyon. Now, I've just been informed that payment we just made was actually a national park entrance fee. Because we came in on the local bus, we didn't stop at the checkpoint. So she's just asked us for tickets and we are like, what tickets? We don't know what you're on about, basically. So that, that ticket lasts you three or four days here. I think it's four days. And that basically means that you can go to all the spots here and you just show me a ticket and then it's sweet as. You only have to pay that once. I thought she was asking me to pay 14 quid for me to walk 2,300 meters down this hill and back up again. But no, she didn't speak English and my Spanish is shit, but we got, we met a dude up there and he did, he explained it to us to keep the ticket because that will cover us everywhere here. We've got to walk down all the way down now with Fernando, who we met in the hotel. I don't know how old he is. Fernando, how old are you? How old I am? Yeah. Yes. Ah, uh, 65? <laughs> Thank you very much. I am 76. 72? Yeah. Like Jesus. Does it look? No. No. Not at all. <laughs> this, this is Fernando. Fernando, say hello. Okay, hello. How are you, my <laughs> friends? I am with some sympathetic, very nice British friends. If you want to do this, very nice. <laughs> FM Servicio Turístico Gmail Pong Pong. There we go. There we go. Fernando. Yeah, he also happens to be a travel agent. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. In Europe too. And he doesn't switch off and he's 72 years old. Oh, that's crazy, man. Mate, 72 years old doing this is uh that's very impressive. I thought he was 65. Bloody hell, good on him. So yeah, she's a he, <laughs> he's a travel agent he does tours around peru bolivia europe he sets it all up for people he books all the flights accommodations and sets it all up yeah it sounds like it's a good good thing it's not the sort of thing me and nat do we obviously like doing self-guided stuff God. i'm gonna say Kalki canyon's probably it's up there with one of the nicest places we've been to in peru oh i don't know if you could tell from our our equipper video or our keeper I was not good. I was not feeling good. I was having a, a couple of, a few down days. I had a, every time I ate, I had a dodgy stomach every single time for nine days straight after eating that jelly at that market. I just wanted to go home to be honest. I just couldn't be bothered anymore. But now, yesterday was my first day feeling sweet and yeah, and I'm feeling good again. This place has reignited my love for the travel. I'm probably gonna hate it again when I've got to walk back up this hill, but right now it's not too sad. I can't believe he's 72 years old doing this. Look at look at this. We're going all the way down, like you see the river down there. We're going all the way down there. beautiful walk but when you're when you're doing it with a travel agent he stops and talks to absolutely everybody and hands out his card just never switches off and then he says we need to be patient because he's got the wrong footwear it's not a footwear it's your bloody mouth <laughs> We're about halfway now, and we've lost Fernando. 
take too long. It's not even his shoes or his age, it's his bloody mouth. He just does not stop trying to sell tours. Sorry, Fernando, mate, but I want to get down there today. I want to see this oasis everyone keeps talking about. I think we're about halfway. It's taken us ages to get here. It's just, it's just too slow. And I know some of you might be judging me right now for leaving a 72-year-old man on a mountainside on his own. But to be fair, he was going to do that anyway. That was his plan. We only met him yesterday, last night. It'd be alright. Now, walking down to this oasis, apparently this is the top thing to do in this area. Cabana Condi. Although I would argue that seeing the birds is the most important thing. I wouldn't come all the way here just for an oasis, for a pool. To get back up, what Fernando's doing is going to take a horse. Now you've seen, you can see how bad this trail is. I would feel awful putting 95 kilos on a horse. I don't even think I've seen a horse here that's realistically big enough to take 100 kilos. I'll have to walk back up, I ain't getting a horse. That is the oasis. I need a cold drink. We've been walking for hours. Fernando is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Fernando is gone. We've lost him. We've lost him. Oh. Sorry, mate. But we ain't getting a donkey ride back up. We have to walk back up later. So I'd want to get down there and chill for as long as possible. It's quite, quite cool views if when you can actually afford to look up. Yet again, we underestimated how far this would be. Three hours we've been walking now. We're nearly there, I can see the pool and everything, look. It'll be lovely if we were staying there. Yeah, it would be nice if we didn't have to walk back up here today. But that's going to be a long way back up. I don't know how far, how deep that walk is, but that feels like the the most um, the most vertical distance we've travelled in the day, even through the Salcante trek, I don't think it's as much as what going up here is going to be. That's that's a long way up, man. It's going to be really shit going back up. Uphill. Uh, it's it's proper steep as well, like the whole thing. Oh, why do it? Ooh, it's quite nice down here. It's a bit like an oasis. Fair play. Fair play, Fernando. Good shout, mate, wherever you are. Check this out. Nice refreshing cold drink. We came from all the way up the top there. And we've got to go all the way back up there today. All right, now, what is this place actually called? Something Oasis? Oasis Eco Lodge. Oasis Eco Lodge. I'm going to be completely honest, right? It looks very nice from up there. The nice pool with a little rock wall with the, with the waterfalls. But look at it. It has a lot of potential, like the gardens are really nice. It looks really good from up there. But you look at it properly, it's like, it's just completely unfinished. It's like they've uh, just done the bare minimum and just opened it up and just left it, which is a bit of a shame really, because it could be a proper nice place. And also this place is actually an accommodation. People do stay here, you can stay here overnight on your hikes or if you want to walk down one day, chill here and then walk back up the next day. But Nat's found somewhere else, it's a seven minute walk from here. Uh, what's it called? Sangali. Sangali. <coughs> and um, 
it apparently looks better. So we're just going to walk there. It's only a seven minute walk. We'll go there now, see what it's all about. Sorry, Fernando, mate. <laughs> you have to chew here on your own. I think this might be his mate's place. He was like proper trying to get us to come here, wasn't he? Drinks are not expensive though. They're only five solids each. I thought they were going to be deer down here because I don't even know how they get them down here, but yeah. We'll go to the other place and see what it's all about. Hello. <laughs> Buenos dias. <laughs> we're looking for, um, what are we looking for? Sangal? Sangal? Yeah. Sangal? Is, is that key? Sangal? Hmm? Sangali? Las Palmas. Ah, yeah, this is it. This is it? Yeah. Okay, gracias. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> These little chairs. This is me. Uh, this is it, mate. This is it. This is what it's all about. Nice reward at the end of the pain. Nice, nice chill for a while before we walk back up. Look at this. Time has come to make our ascent back up the mountain. It's going to be difficult. It's hot. It's about I don't know how what the temperature is, but it's you can burn in this. Oh. Gotta go all the way up there. It's about half past one. No, it's not. This is. It's about half past one. Let's see what time we get to the top, shall we? Oh, Jesus. Just absolutely pissed it down. Mad storm. Literally lightning bolts right there. That was mad. And we were near. All, everything's wet, everything's soaked. I'm fucking soaked. In mud. The reason my front's not soaked is because I was making a rain catcher so we can get some water. And look how much water I got. This was empty. Look at that. Made a rain catcher out of the poncho. I saw it on another YouTube channel and uh, got us some nice water because we were very, very low and we still got a couple of hours left to go. That was mental. My back is absolutely soaked. All of our things have ruined. As you can see, that's all we had left. Still got over two hours to go. And it's overcast right now, but those clouds could stop at any minute and we'll be blasted by the sun again. So, uh, we desperately needed that water. That was actually quite good. Because we were definitely going to run out. and It would have been horrible. It's hailing now. And they bloody hurt. So we're using the we're using the quick drying towel to stay out of it. Uh. Also, look at the. Can they see the colour of my skin? Uh, Probably not. I'm maybe. burnt, and now it's hailing. What is going on? <laughs> oh, we've still got a couple of hours to go. at the top actually wasn't difficult at all really if the weather was uh 
you know, if we, we had water and stuff, that would have been a piece of piss, to be honest. 